So the big question is, are Uber and Lyft drivers employees or independent contractors? Now, many states, including California, have passed laws that basically say we are classified as employees. And just today, the state of California um, in three cities, um, LA, San Diego, and San Francisco, filed a suit um, against Uber and Lyft for not adhering to the law called AB5. Now, during this pandemic, Uber and Lyft have uh, made some policy changes, which really raise the question again, are we employees or are we independent contractors? And I'm gonna address that um, in this video. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you the last straw the reason why I, I firmly believe Uber and Lyft have to classify us as employees. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Gonna have my third cup of uh, Esp Nespresso coffee here. As I like to do as I start my videos. Hey, the question rages on. Are we employees or are we independent contractors? A lot has gone down since we last addressed this question. I asked uh, attorney Mark Potter to weigh in. Here's what he had to say. He said, California law is clear on this issue. Uber and Lyft drivers are employees and are entitled to much more money. We have found that our driver clients are entitled to more than double what Uber and Lyft paid. Uber and Lyft have gotten away with this because drivers have to pursue in private arbitration rather than court. The attorney general is not subject to an arbitration clause and will finally get a ruling that will settle the issue once and for all. Drivers should hire an attorney who will seek all the money they have been underpaid for the past four years. So just below this video, there's a link. If you're interested to kind of get an idea of what you might be entitled to if you've been a driver for the last four years, it's called the damage calculator. I used it and I actually am a client with, uh, with Potter Handy LLP, so check that out. Number two, you can't have it both ways. So what does that mean? Well. Uber and Lyft are calling us independent contractors. Yet in the four years that I've been driving for Uber and Lyft, they've made significant changes in how I can earn revenue. They've changed um, how much I'm paid. They've changed the bonus structure. They've changed how surge and prime time um, impact my earnings. So you can't play with someone's uh, money like that and still call them an independent contractor. Number three is AB5. So a lot of drivers felt like me and said, this is just BS, you know, this isn't right. We're, we're getting, our, our, our earnings are getting decimated. And then a new law was put into effect in California that went into effect the beginning of this year called AB5. And in AB5, there's what's called the ABC test. And what you're seeing right now is are the three questions that you have to be able to answer in order to be an independent contractor. And if you look at number one, it says, the worker is free from the control and direction of the hiring entity, that would be Uber Lyft, in connection with the performance of the work, both under the contract for the performance of the work and in fact. Well, clearly, Uber and Lyft, um, uh, we're not free from their control. And then number two, the worker performs work that is outside the usual course of the hiring entity's business. Well, as any rideshare driver can tell you, um, what we do is exactly what their business is, which is driving bodies from point A to point B. B. And that's why today, California, the state of California is suing um, Uber and Lyft uh, in court. Number four. So why are, why are Uber and Lyft so adamant about calling us independent contractors rather than uh, employees? Well, it's money. It's money. If they were to call us employees, um, estimates say that they would be paying an extra 30 percent um, for their drivers. And that money would be in the form of unemployment um, insurance benefits, sick pay, overtime, minimum pay, things like that. Things that a normal employee who works for a normal company would be entitled to. So number five, how would, how would drivers have been treated differently if they were employees of Uber and Lyft during the pandemic? Oh my gosh. So I stopped driving at the beginning of February and here we are at the beginning of May, that's one, two, three months, and I still have not gotten any unemployment benefits. If I were an employee, um, I would have gotten benefits back in February when I stopped driving. 
I wouldn't be stressed about money like many drivers are. Many drivers, some drivers haven't even been able to apply yet because their states haven't made the, the uh, integration uh, in their system for independent contractors, for rideshare drivers. All of this would have been uh, avoided if we were employees. Huge, huge difference. All right, I hope you're enjoying the video. Just want to take a minute here to invite you to like it. Just hit that little thumb up. That'll uh, make it easier for other people to see this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe. We put out great content four or five times a week. And definitely turn on notifications. And that way when we do our next YouTube Live, you'll be notified and uh, you won't miss a thing. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, number six. If uh, we are independent contractors, why are Uber and Lyft offering sick pay, right? Sick pay is something that you would offer to employees, yet Uber and Lyft are offering it to us independent contractors. So something's not adding up there. Now, the reason I believe that they're offering sick pay is because they don't want sick people driving uh, passengers around and possibly infecting them because that would be a public relations nightmare. So it's in their best interest to get sick drivers off the road, right? As you can see in this uh, article, um, Lyft Uber drivers seek sick leave during pandemic or else. And then they quote someone that says, I'm not stopping fever. Uh, I'm not stopping fever or no fever, right? So that's pretty, pretty uh, interesting. And I think a lot of drivers feel that way, that they need to make money. They're going to keep driving no matter what. Um, so by offering the sick pay, that driver might think, okay, I can make some money, you know, just staying at home so I won't drive, right? Now, if you go to the Uber website, you will see um, they clearly lay out um, coronavirus uh, financial assistance. And then when you go to the Lyft website, much harder to find. I even did a search for sick, sick pay, nothing came up. I did find this page and there's a little notice about it, um, but again, no link. So I'm not really even clear what their policy is. Number seven, and the reason I really feel like I'm an employee is Uber just announced that if I'm gonna drive again, I'm gonna have to wear a mask, right? If I'm a plumber, which is typically, you know, the example that's used as an independent contractor, right? A plumber is an independent contractor. They come to your house, they do something that you're not good at. They have many, many clients. They can charge their own rates. That's a, that's a typical independent contractor. Here we are driving our cars, right? And now Uber is telling us we have to wear this in order to drive or otherwise we're not going to be able to drive, right? That's, that's what they're putting out there um, a lot of news stories about that, that we have to wear masks clearly if they can tell us how to do our job in this way we are employees i think that settles settles the question pretty much uh, at least in my eyes so get your mask and you're going to have to wear your mask because otherwise you will not be able to drive for uber uh, as this thing uh, this this uh, illness uh, as we start to get back back to work so what are the key takeaways? Well, one is you're gonna to have to wear a mask, which I find to be incredibly uncomfortable and hot, very distracting, very distracting. Um, two, if, uh, if you think you're due some money, um, definitely click on the link below this uh, video and uh, get an estimate and then contact Potter Handy because they're really great and um, I'm really looking forward to getting into arbitration myself and seeing what kind of money I can get. And third, what do you think? Are you an employee or are you an independent contractor? And does it even matter to you? Some drivers feel very strongly and they want the extra benefits, like they would have loved to have had unemployment insurance now um, and, and not, not had to wait three to four months before getting, uh, getting the money. Um, or do you think you're an independent contractor and you're, you're just good with everything the way it's been so far? and you're okay with Uber and Lyft telling you exactly how to do your job and controlling pretty much every aspect of your business? Um, that's the question. And it's not answered. It's not answered uh, in court yet. So we just got to wait and see. Me personally, I think we're employees. We're treated like employees and we should be paid more like employees. But what do you think? 
leave a leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Do you feel like you're an employee? Do you want to be an employee? Do you feel like you're an IC and you want to be an IC? All right. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. This is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy saying if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe. Definitely hit that little thumbs up and give it a like. That way more people will be able to see this video. Um, I will see you out there on the open road someday soon. And uh, y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.